Melachim Rishon, 1 Kings 13. And behold, there came a man of Elohim out of Yahudah, by the word of Yahuwah, unto Beit El. And Yarov Am stood by the altar to burn incense. And he cried against the altar in the word of Yahuwah, and said, O altar, altar, thus says Yahuwah, Behold, a child shall be born unto the house of David, Yoshiyahu by name, and upon you shall he offer at the priests of the high places that burn incense upon you, and men's bones shall be burnt upon you. And he shall give, rather, and he gave a sign the same day, saying, This is the sign which Yahuwah has spoken. Behold, the altar shall be rent, and the ashes that are upon it shall be poured out. And it came to pass, when King Yarovam heard eth the saying of the man of Elohim, which he had cried against the altar in Beit El, that he put forth his hand from the altar, saying, Lay hold on him. And eth his hand, which he put forth against him, dried up so that he could not pull it in again to him. The altar also was rent, and the ashes poured out from the altar, according to the sign which the man of Elohim had given by the word of Yahuwah. And the king answered and said unto the man of Elohim, Entreat now at the face of Yahuwah Eloheka, and pray for me, that my hand may be restored me again. And the man of Elohim besought at Yahuwah, and the king's hand was restored him again, and became as it was before. And the king said unto the man of Elohim, Come home with me, and refresh yourself, and I will give you a reward. And the man of Elohim said unto the king, If you will give at me half your house, I will not go in with you, neither will I eat bread nor drink water in this place. For so was it charged me by the word of Yahuwah, saying, Eat no bread, nor drink water, nor turn again by the same way that you came. So he went another way, and returned not by the way that he came to Beit El. Now, there dwelt an old prophet in Beit El, and his sons came and told him eth all the works that the man of Elohim had done that day in Beit El, eth the words which he had spoken unto the king. Them they told also to their father. And their father said unto them, What way went he? For his sons had seen eth what way the man of Elohim went, which came from Yahudah. And he said unto his sons, Saddle me the ass. So they saddled him the ass, and he rode thereon, and went after the man of Elohim, and found him sitting under an oak. And he said unto him, Are you the man of Elohim that came from Yahudah? And he said, I am. And then he said unto him, Come home with me, and eat bread. And he said, I may not return with you, nor go in with you, neither will I eat bread nor drink water with you in this place. For it was said to me by the word of Yahuwah, You shall eat no bread nor drink water there, nor turn again to go by the way that you came. He said unto him, I am a prophet also as you are, and an angel spoke unto me, by the word of Yahuwah, saying, Bring him back with you into your house, that he may eat bread and drink water. But he lied unto him. So he went back with him, and did eat bread in his house, and drank water. And it came to pass, as they sat at the table, that the word of Yahuwah came unto the prophet that brought him back. And he cried unto the man of Elohim, that came from Yahudah, saying, Thus says Yahuwah, For as much as you have disobeyed 
the mouth of Yahuwah and have not guarded eth the commandment which Yahuwah Eloheka commanded you, but came back and have eaten bread and drunk water in the place, of the which Yahuwah did say to you, Eat no bread and drink no water. Your carcass shall not come unto the sepulchre of your fathers. And it came to pass, after he had eaten bread and after he had drunk, that he saddled for him the ass, to wit, the prophet whom he had brought back. And when he was gone, a lion met him by the way and slew him, and his carcass was cast in the way. And the ass stood by it, the lion also stood by the carcass. And behold, men passed by and saw eth the carcass cast in the way, and eth the lion standing by the carcass. And they came and told it in the city where the old prophet dwelt. And when the prophet that brought him back from the way heard thereof, he said, It is the man of Elohim who was disobedient unto eth the word of Yahuwah. Therefore Yahuwah has delivered him unto the lion, which has torn him and slain him, according to the word of Yahuwah, which he spoke unto him. And he spoke to his sons, saying, Saddle me eth the ass. And they saddled him. And he went and found eth his carcass cast in the way, and the ass and the lion standing eth by the carcass. The lion had not eaten the carcass, nor torn eth the ass. And the prophet took up eth the carcass of the man of Elohim, and laid it upon the ass, and brought it back. And the old prophet came to the city to mourn and to bury him. And he laid eth his carcass in his own grave, and they mourned over him, saying, Alas, my brother! And it came to pass, after he had buried him, that he spoke to his sons, saying, When I am dead, then bury me in the sepulchre, wherein the man of Elohim is buried. Lay my bones eth beside his bones. For the saying which he cried, by the word of Yahuwah against the altar in Beit El, and against all the houses of the high places which are in the cities of Shomoron, shall surely come to pass. After this thing, Yadavam returned not from his evil way, but made again of the lowest of the people priests of the high places, whosoever would, eth he consecrated him, and he became one of the priests of the high places. And this thing became sin unto the house of Yadavam, even to cut it off and to destroy it off from, rather, and to destroy it from off the face of the earth.